Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Missy and I write the blog ramblingrosefarmhouse.com and I'm really happy to have you joining me here today. So today I have a quick and easy DIY project that I'm gonna share with you. I went garage selling a few weeks ago and I found these awesome candlesticks. I thought they were beautiful. They're very heavy, they're very um, dressy. There's two of them here. They have uh, the marble base to them and then they have the metal candlestick and the um, pretty little um, crystals on them. And I just thought they were really neat. Now, if you look at them close, they used to be like a shiny gold and most of that has worn off over the years, I'm sure. And so they kind of um, are a little bit dingy looking. So I decided that I would give some rub and buff a try just to put a little bit on here and see if I can spruce them up a little bit and get them to looking just a little bit better. I don't want them to be shiny gold like they used to be originally, but I did think they might could use just a little bit of sprucing up. So I had some of the rub and buff in the color anti gold, and that's what I'm going to try to use today and put a little bit on these candlesticks and see what we come up with. So I am going to, um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the crystals off because I think that that will make it easier to work with and I won't have to worry about those. Now, if you've never used rub and buff before, you might be thinking, whoa, that's a mighty little tube. It does not take much at all. The first time I used this, I put a pretty big dab on my rag and it was just way more than what I needed. So I'm gonna try to be really conservative and not put a lot of this on my rag. I have some little pieces that I cut already of like t-shirt um, fabric. And so I'm just gonna open this up and see if I can just put a very small amount which is kind of already coming out the top so even this might be more than what I need to start off with and then I am just going to just start and put put this on here got to get it down in the little crevices if you want it in the crevices or you might want to leave it with the dark showing through which that's what I want to do I want some of the dark to show through because I still want it to have that antique look to it
Okay, so one reason it's called rub and buff is because after you get it on, then you are supposed to take another rag and just really buff it. Or you could use the one you're using too. I'm gonna get this little bit bigger one. And you just really buff that wax and get a shine going. That's looking pretty good. All right, so tell me what do you think? Which one do you like better? Do you think the one with the rub and buff looks better, or do you think the other one does? I really like the way this turned out. I think it looks really good and I am pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one and then I'm gonna wash my little crystals and put them back on there and I'll show you what they look like when they're all finished. But I like this little project. So rub and buff is really pretty easy to use. You can tell I didn't use hardly any out of the tube. A little bit goes a really long way and you can put it on as heavy or as light as you wanted it so i left it where i can see the dark down through the grooves i really like that look i think it still gives it more of an antique look than if i had covered it all really solid like it would have been when it was new and bright and shiny and gold so there it is i really like this project again here's the comparison of the two and I'm anxious to go ahead and get this one done and then um, show you what they look like. So if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all of you who come and watch my videos and I hope that they're encouraging to you. I hope they inspire you to go to your home and do some projects yourself. So again, thank you for being here and I hope to see you back again next week.